Hey, I'm Elise and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about bad UX. It is one of my favorite subjects and it's actually how I got into UX and how I realized that I liked creating good experiences because I was so passionate about hating bad experiences. So this is going to help especially new UX designers learn how I, a UX designer, goes through a product, evaluates it, and creates solutions. All right, so I've just logged on to my account and I'm on my uh, shop page here. Right when I start to, to go down below, I see a little sub menu here and the way they've laid it out makes me think that this is some sort of anchor navigation. I'm going to try it out. Yeah, it's not. It's actually taking me to a new page. The second thing I'm noticing is that when I hover onto a product, the some copy here is getting cut off. Uh, so that just looks bad. It's actually quite a lot of copy there um, and I, I don't want to read it. It's, it's too long and it's pink. This is too much for me to read. Please shorten this and get me interested instead of turning me off. Well, let's select one of the products. The navigation has changed completely. Uh, I would like to see here the, the other options that were in that sub menu like Samsung. I'd like to see a secondary menu so I can go to other products here without having to go back and then find that page that I'm looking for. There seems to be a little special offer on a lot of these items. Doesn't feel so special now. And then the other thing is this, this uh, phone icon and I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Let's click on to it. Is it going to call someone right now? So I can schedule a call or I can have them call me. Now, what I'm not seeing here, if I want to call someone, I want to see a phone number, right? It only gives me the hours they're available and the ability for them to call me back, even though it says call team. The other thing is message a team. Let's see what that means. It is an instant message. I would like for them to explicitly say, um, chat with team or something, or just have a little chat icon in the previous product page. So when I'm looking at payment options, I see monthly payments as an option, and I don't really know what's gonna be under the dropdown. So I have to click into it, and then I see that there's only two options. So if there's only two items in a dropdown list, just expose both of them. It doesn't take up that much real estate. Expose that, expose it. There's so much text under the features. I don't even want to read it. At least have some icons or an image or maybe a video here where I where it says like see all the features through a video. Something like that that's going to get me engaged. So I'm clicking on to the different color options for the phone, but you can only see the front side and the front. But of course, the where you're going to actually see most of the color is the back of the phone. Oh, just a little side note, when I went into the T-Mobile store, they no longer allow you to pick up the phone. It has to stay stuck on the counter. So you actually can't even turn around your phone to see the color from in the back, or you can't even feel what the, the phone feels like in your hand. What a horrible experience. I got to see the back of my phone after I purchased it. Overall, I would give this site a six out of 10. I'm not sure how a company of this size doesn't have a kick-ass UX team that just creates a silky, smooth experience. Please subscribe below if you like this video. I have new content out every week. Hope to see you soon.